we have looked at the balance sheet items, assets, liabilities, and equity. Now it's time to look at the income statement items, income and expenses. Let's look at the definition first. So income is increase in assets or decrease in liabilities that result in increases in equity, right? So we have already learned about assets, liabilities, and equity, and income is simply an increase in assets. So it could either be an increase in assets or a decrease in liabilities, but it results as always positively in increasing in equity. We have to exclude any increase in equity directly done by shareholders or owners of equity. For example, if they provide additional funding to the business in the form of ownership shares, that will not be considered income. But other than that, all the business transactions that result in an increase in equity, and practically speaking, this is really increase in profits, uh, this will be considered as income. Expenses, on the other hand, are the opposite of income. They are decrease in asset or increase in liabilities that results negatively or decreases in equity other than the equity holders' contributions. So the key points for income and expenses, income will result in an increase in equity or increase in profits, and expenses will result in a decrease in equity or decrease in profits. What is income then? Income is money received or receivable from sales, services or investments. It increases assets, for example, cash. It decreases liability, for example, we discussed about accrued liabilities. So the company records the bill for January in the month of January, but the bill has not arrived yet. It comes in later. Let's say the bill comes in and it's actually lower than what the company estimated. So that will be a reduction in liability that has already been recorded. So that would be that difference of what was originally recorded as an expense versus now the revised amount will be an income. So income increases equity or profits. And if you remember from the rules of debit and credit, an income is a credit entry when increased and debit when decreased. Some examples of income. Uh, when a business sells burgers for cash, remember, there is an increase in the cash asset. Right? So the selling of burger results, results in an increase in cash, which is an asset. And the accounting entry is cash received, debit and credit, sale of burgers. This is the income or revenue. So this section, as you see, this is the recording of income. If you remember, there's always double entry, dual impact. So the asset increases and income also increases, but in the form of a credit. Just a point to note here, uh, cost of sales will also be recorded in this case in accordance with matching principle and we will be discussing accounting principles in a separate section shortly. Examples of income include sale of goods, service income, dividend income, this is the dividend that is received from any investments that a company has in other companies, interest income, rental income, and gain on sale of assets. So any assets that the company owes when they sell them and if there is a profit on that sale, that's also considered income. Expenses. So expenses are costs incurred in exchange for something. Remember from the definition, it is a decrease in asset, for example, cash. So when you pay for something, that's an expense. The asset cash is reduced. It also can result in increase in liability, for example, accounts payable. So when the company purchases something on credit, it records an accounts payable liability and it results in decrease in equity or profit. Finally, it's a debit entry when increased, credit when decreased. An example of expense when a business pays rent for the building. Accounting entry is debit rent, this is the expense, and credit asset, which is cash. So here you have the decrease in asset. Some examples, there are many examples of expenses. A few of them are salaries and wages, training costs, meals, rent, cleaning, office supplies, electricity, gas, water, repair, maintenance, taxes, interest paid, depreciation, insurance expenses, leases, rental equipment, and travel expenses. So all of these you can see are outflows for the company. These are expenses where the company has to pay, and as a result, the asset is decreased, but also profit is decreased. So it has a negative impact on the equity. Let's look at Nike's income statement. So here, all the income and expenses are listed on the income statement. If you look at this, revenues and other income are the income. In an income statement, when you see revenues and if you see other income, which is a negative number in this case, and in bracket, you can see it shows if it's income. 
it will be a negative number and it's shown as in brackets. So these are the two lines for income and everything else is an expense. So cost of sales, so cost of the products that Nike sells, plus any demand creation expenses, operating expenses. Operating is really the business expenses to run the business, the interest expense, and then tax expense. All of them are expenses. And finally, you have net income, which is a difference of income and expenses. Income minus expenses is your net income. So for the year end date, so the, for the 12 month period ending May 31st, 2022, Nike had a net income of 6 billion roughly. So now we have looked at all the elements of financial statements from assets, liabilities, equity, income, and expenses. As discussed earlier, assets, liabilities, and equity are part of the balance sheet and income and expenses are part of the income statement. We'll now look at the accounting principles and then we will jump back into the rules of debit and credit and some accounting entries as a practice.